Yeah, obviously I thought it was a really good win for us against a basketball team that was red hot. Told Dwayne and their staff, man, I really like their team. I think they all complement each other really well. They got good depth, great size. Um, you know, hopefully B. Artis is okay uh, for them. But um, proud of our guys. We've been a little bit under the weather. You know, I know you're going to ask a question about Greg. Greg hasn't practiced for two days. Tried to suck it up today and play. So I really appreciate his toughness and leadership in that regard. You know, hopefully we can get him healthy before Friday. Um, we had some other guys that were struggling a little bit too. Maybe not to the level of him, but uh, I thought we really played with some toughness because I know we weren't feeling great. Um, but as I tell them, you know, it's no, they, no, the opponent doesn't care. So we'll have to figure it out. So I thought we came out of halftime, played with a little bit more energy. Thought we made more shots, obviously. Thought our defense was a little bit better. Um, thought Dawson's play on the loose ball changed the energy level in the building. So, you know, we did some good things. Sammy made some big shots. Ali made some plays. Thought Lyles and Johnson were good off the bench. Scott had a big play, steal and dunk. Um, Thornton made big plays. Dawson's loose ball. You know, big three in front of the bench. So I thought everybody that played, and then Freeman was spectacular, especially in the second half. But we needed all of it, you know, to beat a red-hot Western Michigan team. Questions? Coach, is it a cold or a flu yeah. bug? Or? Yeah, just flu's going around. Okay. As far as with Nate Johnson, he is, is out with a broken hand, right? Nate's out with a broken hand. And it's, what's the timetable? We're projecting somewhere around six weeks, um, somewhere in that range. So hopefully it's earlier, but we'll let our doctors make that decision, um, and they'll do what's best for Nate. With Nate being injured, Greg's not feeling too well. You turned to three experienced guys, Enrique, Ali Ali, and Sammy Hunter. Just what did you see out of those three, along with the other guys, to really kickstart a comeback there in the second half? Well, we rely on those guys. They're upperclassmen a lot. I thought that... Uh, you know, all of them made big plays, and uh, none of the three were feeling great. You know, maybe, like I said, not to the level Greg was, but we all had to suck it up and coach and play and figure it out, um, spearheaded by those guys. You know, those guys are, we go as they go. I remind them of that a lot, uh, especially through text um, and conversations. We go, we're going to go as they go. As far as getting on the floor, I know last time you said something about deodorant masking what smells or something like that. Yeah, what stinks. Yeah, Michael gets on the floor. Yeah. A lot of blocks. A lot of good yeah. Did you see like the team had more fight and more pep in their stuff? In the second half, for sure. Second half, I thought we all, everybody across the board stepped up. And I thought what was cool about the win is, and I said it earlier, you know, Sammy made big plays. Ali, Reek, you know, Greg tried to suck it up and play, which I thought was huge. Dawson makes a big three, gets on the loose ball. Shema has a big-time dunk. Caleb has a big-time uh, steal that leads to a basket. Lyles and Johnson were really good in their minutes. So it was a total team effort when we needed it, with Nate out and Greg a little bit under the weather. Coach, I know it's not necessarily the culture you want with the few games that you have been down at half, and then not just coming back the second half, but really coming back that second half. What kind of testimony is that to your team to be able to come back the way they do in the second half? Well, two things. One, we got to play a little better in the first half. <laughs> okay. And secondly, we got just a bunch of winners in there, man. You know, regardless of scoreboard, they just, it's a really unique, special group that cares about each other. They care about winning. They're happy for each other when they're su successful. And I've, I've told them, you know, we've got so much depth and so many guys that success is going to look different for different guys on different nights. Just is what it is, you know. And uh, I, I was proud of the way they, they um, you know, played in the second half. I thought we were really tough the second half. Coach, you held uh, Western Michigan to only 66 points. They're averaging 83 and a half, which leads the MAC. What did you do to defensively game plan for that? Well, you got to get back in transition. Everybody knows that. It's no secret. They play fast. They're great on the glass. They've got good personnel. They're deep. They shoot it. They can throw it inside. I, I really like their team. I think they're, 
They're deep. They got a good guys complement each other well. Dwayne does a good job with them. In the first half, we didn't connect on any of our threes, and then in the second, we made seven of nine. What was going so differently the second half than the first? You know, the quality of them were probably a little bit better, but part of it's just making shots. You know, I got great confidence in our guys. If they take good shots, they're going to make a high enough percentage. So, so it was good to see a few of them go in. With Enrique, uh, 31 games in a row with 10 or more points. First player to do that in the history of the University of Akron men's basketball program. Um, what do you think about that feat and that accomplishment coming in a win and, you know, stuff like that? It's unbelievable. I mean, it's really um, – you know, you'll get a chance to ask him, obviously, when he gets up here. But, you know, you think about that fall day when he came in here on a walk-on tryout to where he's at now. Testament to his character, his work ethic, um, the way he's developed. But like I always tell you, you know, obviously he's one of the best players in the country, not just the league, the country, one. But, two, his humility is what makes him unique. You know, he's very coachable. He's humble. You know, he's he's a guy that is the same every day. He's never, you know, there's no moodiness. You know what you're getting from him every day. And so production-wise, same thing. We talk about it all the time, Michael. Like, you know, he gets double-doubles like we breathe. You know, I hope people aren't taking that for granted. I'm certainly not. Anything else for Coach? One more, Coach. What did you take away from Sammy Hunter's performance? thought he was good. thought he was good inside and out. Thought he made big shots late in the game. Thought uh, gave us a lot of energy, you know, as did a lot of the guys. Thought guys really stepped up uh, second half. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, Coach.